Hi everyone, my name is Brenda and I'm the educator and rep for AOMED. Today we're going to be doing a full treatment on our facial filler. We have um, actually rebranded our Sculpa line and our line is now called House of Pla or Hop for short. All the products are specifically made for the U.S. market, which means we have more of the polyolactic, which is the facial plumper of the line filler in it. And um, we've totally rebranded everything, added more growth factors in it as well. So today we're going to be going through the whole treatment so you know how to do it. Okay, everyone, I've already prepped my model with our Dr. Esty Goat Milk Pill. And I will be showing you more information on that here in a minute. What you're going to receive in your kit, you're going to get a clear plastic envelope. At least one of these, that's going to be in your 5 treatment kit. If you have the 15 treatment kit, you're going to be getting 3 of these envelopes. And in your 25 treatment kit, you're going to be getting 5 of these that have... Um, five of these in them as well. So you're only going to be using one of these folders per treatment. A couple things that you want to make sure that you have handy is you want to make sure you have a pair of scissors. You want to have your stem saw mist. You want to obviously have your ampule and each ampule is already pre-measured out for five treatments and each treatment is going to be four milliliter. And I'm gonna show you how to measure that out. You're gonna have your needless syringe. And I like using a soft, cheapo brush that you can kind of work the polyolactic in. So first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and cut my mask so I can just go from top to bottom and kind of keep the rhythm going. I don't do a ton of cutting with my mask just because that kind of makes me crazy and then I feel like I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle, but you can totally cut it however you want. I'm just giving you some tips on how I do it. So this is going to be your neck portion and I just cut it kind of where that crease already is. Okay, now I have not even touched any of the ampule, so I pre-cut it and then I start the treatment. The next one, kind of going from bottom to top, is going to be your bottom part of the face and the mouth. Okay, so what I do with this, is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to go from one end of the mask. I'm going to go all the way through like I would be cutting in the center of the lips. All the way through to the other side. And I put that to the side. And then the top mask, which I like calling the masquerade mask, is the one that I cut the most. So what I do with that is I will cut all the way through the eyes, similar to what I did with the mouth, across what would be the bridge of the nose, through the other eye, Then you have your part that goes over your eyebrows, and then you have this part. Now what I have found is that if you do not cut this bottom part, it's not going to really wrap around the nose area as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that kind of like where it would be fitting under the eye. So I'm going to cut it about right there and put that to the side. I'm going to do the other part. Now you're going to see that there is a smooth part and a ridgy part. This particular, um, a couple formulations ago, we really tried to do the ridgy part down. We have it to where it really doesn't matter as much. Okay, so I have my top mask already here and we're just going to get going with it. So you want to make sure when you take this off, you take the metal part off and then you still have the stopper in it. So you want to shake it up really well. Now this top part of the mask, everywhere where the masquerade mask was, which is the forehead, 
the side of the temples underneath the eyes, that is going to be one milliliter. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my product up into the needle syringe. Okay, and then I am just going to take that and start distributing it. You don't have to be in a super rushed way of doing it, but also you have to understand that this is a big molecule size, so it will dry out faster. Now, if you feel like and I'll kind of explain when we get to that point. So I'm taking my soft brush and I'm just working it into the skin. Make sure you get it up under the eye area so you can get the crow's feet. On the 11s. Now this is gonna be drying out a little bit faster because we're under the lights. But this is just how I did. I just kind of work it in, distributing it as evenly as I can. Okay, now I'm going to take my stem saw mist. I'm going to start with the forehead. I'm going to go, I kind of do a little bit more because I want to get a good seal. As soon as you start spraying the mist on the Pelia mask, it is going to start disintegrating. You want to make sure when you're working on the forehead that you're not doing the mask on the eyebrows. Now this is going to have a little bit of the overlay on the little head wrap here, and that's okay. It really is okay. Once the mask is on the face, you don't want to pick it up and move it because then you're going to start getting holes in it like Swiss cheese and you're not going to get a good seal at all. But if that happens, you just kind of either roll with it or you're going to have to start all over. Okay, but you want it to be no bubbles in it. And that's why whenever I do the stem cell mist on it, I, I don't pull it really hard, but I pull it taut. And then I kind of start in the forehead and smooth it out to get all the air bubbles out because that's what you want, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the other part. I've already done the, the ampule on there. I'm just gonna go to the next section. Okay, go ahead and look up. Open your eyes and look up. And when you have her, you have your client open their eyes and look up, you're able to kind of get up as close as possible to that line. Then I'm going to get the other side. Now you're going to notice that I do not have it up on the lash line. There's no need for that because when you pull this off, it can be a little bit ouchy and we don't want to be pulling the bottom lashes off. So then I'm going to take this and I'm just going, after I already sprayed it, I'm just going to put it on the nose and wrap it around. Okay, you can go ahead and close your eyes now. Okay, now there's a little part right here that's kind of going on the hairline. I'm just gonna take my finger, I sprayed a little bit of the mist, and just kind of smushed it down. I do it with my finger because if I'm actually spraying their face, that's gonna be a little bit intrusive and I don't really wanna do that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, after I do the masquerade mask, I work on one half of the neck and I'm gonna show you why. So the remainder of the treatment, you're gonna be doing 1.5 here, you're gonna be doing 1.5 on the neck. So again, I'm gonna do this part of the neck. So what I'm gonna have Morgan do here in a minute, I'm gonna have you kind of stretch your neck out like you're looking over your left shoulder. Oh, you don't have to touch it. You can just like stretch it out like you're looking. There you go. See how that really flattened that out? 
that really helps to get a better angle and a smoother surface to where the mask is staying better. So because this, the whole neck is 1.5, I'm gonna load the ampule up to a 0 0.75. Okay. And just kind of put it on here. Now, I really want to stress that the ampules are already pre-measured out. So if you feel like you are needing more ampule, you're really not. You just need to rely more on the stem cell mess to get that seal. So see, I have a really good seal going on here because I sprayed the mask. Where, whereas more people try to lean more towards putting more of the ampule on and then you get out of whack on your measurements. So if you call me or text me and say, hey Brenda, I know um, I, I'm running out of my ampule, but I have plenty of mask. I'm gonna know that you've used too much ampule and we're gonna kind of get you regrouped and do some extra training um, to where you're not wasting the product. So I'm just going to put it like that. It's really important to keep your fingers dry. Because if your hands are wet and you touch that mask, it's gonna start curling up and start disintegrating. Now we're not gonna worry too much about this over here yet, or this because when we do the other part of the neck, it's going to even out. But see how smooth that is? And it's already starting to what I call the shrink wrap part of it because what it does is it starts pushing that polyolactic down deeper into the skin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have you go like this and see it's not lifting because it's already started disintegrating and wrapping around her face. So the next part we're gonna do, and we'll come back to the other part of the neck here in a minute, we are going to do the bottom of the cheek, above her lip, her chin, and then it's gonna wrap a tiny bit right around under her chin. So that part is going to be 1.5. So loading my syringe, my needless syringe up to one millimeter. Now I get up here to the lip line because I don't know any lady that does not want to have a little bit of the flipping action or a little bit of the plumping or the lines filled in around their lip area. We know that that's a real problem area whether you're drinking out of a straw or whether it's hereditary or just loss of collagen that's a big problem area, so we want to make sure that we get as close to the lips as possible. So now I have my other, so I loaded it up to one, and now I'm doing the 0.5. Now, polyolactic is the same active ingredient that is in the injectables. We get a lot of questions on the comparison on that, so I want to just briefly talk to you about that. We never claim that this is going to give um, the same results as the injectable because it's just a different type of treatment. But that being said, um, there are really, really jaw-dropping before and after pictures where we have practitioners that um, have just seen really, really incredible results after three or even after five. If you do like the injectables, this is going to kind of help work hand-in-hand hand with that because it's going to keep those, the polyolactic just keep working in your skin. Polyolactic is a collagen synthesizer. So what that means is when it's down in your skin and it helps our skin produce its own collagen. Where the this treatment is going from the top down and it's best to do it in a series of three to five and then you do a maintenance 
the injectables, you get the immediate swelling and then it kind of goes hidden for a few months. And then after the next few months, you are um, building collagen that way. Very, very expensive treatment. So that's why so many of our um, clients love this treatment because they're able to get the whole face and neck done and do a series for probably about the price of one vial of the injectable. Um, and they normally suggest, gosh, at least two vials in your first treatment and kind of building up to maybe even six. So one thing I wanna show you, it's perfectly okay if the masks overlap. Okay, so I, it's fitting a little bit better over here and I kinda got this part off the mark a little bit, but it's totally okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Now the bottom part, so I did it right above the lip line. The bottom part I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get as close to the lips as possible. Kind of stretching it out just a tiny bit. Pushing it down. You're gonna see there's little slits in it. And that's what you're gonna kind of use to flip it under the chin area. Now this mask takes about 30 minutes to dry. You can put them under red LED light or any LED light. That's not going to enhance the treatment. It's just going to help with the drying time. So now I'm going to do the other part of her neck. And since this was 0.75, this other side is going to be a 0.75. So load it up to 0.75. And see, Morgan already knows what to do. <laughs> And take my brush. Now, a couple things I want to kind of mention. When I first started doing this treatment, um, and this was before I became an educator and a rep, I got like all, I overthought it so much. And I want to encourage you ladies to not do this, okay? There's no harm that's going to come to your client. Uh, there's, there's, you know, this is why we're doing this video, so it'll make it a little bit easier for you to kind of follow along. Aim for the best, you know. It's a great treatment, even if you felt like that you didn't get the best sale in the world. There's something just to strive for. Just each time, work on your technique a little bit better. If you felt like that there is a better way to apply it or to cut the mask, that is totally what you can do. I know a lot of people that do a lot of different um, little pieces to the mask, and that's what they're more comfortable with. That doesn't mean that that's better or that that's worse. And I'm just going to have you go ahead and do that. And then at this point, you can kind of take your little spray, spray a little bit on your finger, and you can just dab little areas that you felt like you want to be a little bit more sealing, okay? You see, mine is not absolutely like glass, and that's okay. That's absolutely okay. You're gonna see a lot of practitioners that their mask, maybe it looks like they don't even have it on there. The point is that we have a really good seal and there's limited amount of bubbles in there. Now this is going to dry for 30 minutes. And while we're doing that, I'm going to be explaining you about some of the home care products, some of the kits, talk to you a little bit more about the rebranding of our line. While Morgan's drying, I'm gonna go through some of the home care products. The Sculpla Mist 
is like your toner. Our Korean friends call this Botox in a bottle. This is going to be the bare minimum of what you and or your client needs to be using after the treatment. This is very, very key to have this in the treatment as you saw. So that's the stem cell mist. We only have one size of that and that's the 120 ml. Then our next products that I wanna show you is our Kava Plus. Now we have two different sizes of that. We have the 30 ml, that's our trial size. This is gonna be about a couple months worth. And then we have our full size, that's 120 ml. This is going to last probably about four months, maybe four and a half months. The recommended usage on this is three to four pumps. You wanna make sure that you do the Kava Plus on clean, dry skin. There are a couple products that are the exception to that rule. So the first one is you can use it after the stem cell mist. The other exception is the Dr. SD Hyla Ampule. And that has rose water in it, so it's not a oil-based or anything like that. It's a water-based, so that actually helps it bubble up even more. Okay, so those are the Kava Plus. The Kava Plus has caviar, the polyolactic in it, and it also, the technology behind it, not an ingredient, but the technology is what makes it bubble up. So if you feel like that you're not getting enough bubble, shake your can and make sure there's no remnants of any products on the face at all and you're gonna get a great bubble kind of smooth it in kind of aggressively and it's gonna bubble up. After it bubbles, then you're just gonna kind of smooth it around. Sometimes it bubbles again and then you just smooth it in, okay? The next treat product you're gonna be doing is our Promoter Repair Cell Moisturizer. We have two different sizes of that as well. We have the trial size. This actually says the cream in it. Um, we are going to be repackaging during our rebranding of the hop line and it's gonna go from a cream to a moisturizer. I do want to stress it's the exact same product. We're just naming it a moisturizer so it doesn't appear to be heavy with some, some people. So this is our 50 ml moisturizer and this is going to be your 200 ml moisturizer. This is going to last about two months. This is going to last up to nine months. So this is gonna be what you're gonna be using primarily in your back bar, but you can totally have this as an at-home product as well. The next thing I'm going to show you is our Promoter Repair Eye Cream. Now, this is a really, really special product because it has a little pump applicator and I'll just put a little bit on my arm here. It's about how much you wanna do under one eye. This actually, you can blend it in really, really well. A little pro tip is you can put it along the lip line and make the lips plump. I know some of my accounts will actually put it on top of the lips to help with the anti-aging on that. This is not going to make the eyes more puffy, but it is going to help fill in the lines and um, kind of plump there. So it's specially formulated for the eye area to help brighten the eye area and help with the fine lines and firm and tight and all that stuff that we're looking for in an eye cream. The next thing I wanna show you is our cushion repair cream. Now this is a sunscreen that has SPF 50. It has titanium dioxide, which is about 14, a little over 14% on that, which is great. It also has four different growth factors in it. Um, as well as our Kava Plus and our Promoter Repair Moisturizer has the growth factors in it as well. This is our lightest shade. Right now we are in the works of creating a darker shade for it. But if you're not familiar with cushion foundations, there's a little bitty sponge in here that has the foundation and the sunscreen in it. And you just kind of blot it 
and then you can just pat it in. It has a double side on it, so or two different textures on it. You have a little tip for your blending, and that is to apply your foundation. Now, this is a great product to have when you have a client that comes in to do this treatment and maybe they have an event or they just don't want to leave without sunscreen or a foundation on, so they're going to get a really good coverage on that. The, this lighter shade is going to take to probably a medium Fitzpatrick 3, sometimes Fitzpatrick's 4 can wear it. And again, we're in the works of developing a darker shade for the darker Fitzpatricks. We don't know when that's going to be out yet, but we, of course, will let you know when that happens. And if you want a little pro tip also is after you apply the cushion foundation that has a sunscreen, then you can do a little bit of the tiny bit of the mist, go back over with another layer of the cushion, and you're going to have this um, amazing flawless glow that um, all Korean treatments are known for. So that is beautiful. I um, do want to kind of say as far as this product here, we always tell our clients that we don't really like for them to go to sleep with sunscreen on. This would be a product that I would be okay with them doing that. For instance, if you're doing a treatment on someone that it's later on in the day, say maybe five or six in the afternoon, they're getting ready to go to an event and they're putting the cushion on, we don't want you to be washing your face for at least eight hours, preferably 12 hours after you do the treatment. So in that case, they would have to be sleeping with the foundation on. Now, you can do any of these products immediately after I remove this mask, from, from Morgan, you're just not going to be doing any other products the rest of today or for the next three days. So today, on the day of filming, it's actually a Tuesday, so she's not going to wash her face the rest of the day. No other products other than the polyolactic products, our house of plot. And so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, she's going to be using a very gentle cleanser. She can use any of her polyolactic, her House of Pla products. She's not going to do any actives like vitamin C, no retinol, no scrubbies, nothing that's going to be bringing that polyolactic out back out of her skin. So um, she's actually one of my um, clients that comes to see me for other services and I have her on active. So she knows the next three days she's not gonna be using those active. She's just gonna be using the home care that I send her home with, okay? Now, she could come back next Tuesday and do another treatment or um, 10 days from now. We recommend a series of three to five. Five is best because each time you do the treatment, the polyolactic is going down deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the skin. After you do five, it's actually going down to the dermis level. And that's where the magic happens. You're gonna get great results after one. You're gonna see best results at three. You're gonna see amazing after five. So just wanted to explain that. After you do five or do your series, I tell my clients, don't wait till all of it diminishes. Kind of like you just want to kind of keep filling that polyolactic tank up and have them come in for a maintenance every month or every six weeks to do that. Now, a couple other things that I want to show you is you have a couple different options when you get the kit. Obviously, you're going to get the most bang for your buck when you do the 25 face and neck treatment. In that, and I have foundation on my hands, obviously. So you're going to get all the ingredients, all the instructions in your, in your kit. You're going to get your quick guide that kind of has some info on there. You can go step by step with that. You're going to get five of the ampules, and again, each one of these ampules is going to have five treatments in it, and I think I mentioned four earlier, but it's actually five. Five in this, you get five different syringes, so one syringe for that. You're getting five of the envelopes, 
And each one of these envelopes has five treatments in them. Okay, so that's the 25 face and 25 neck. Another advantage of having this kit is that it comes with these little tips in them. I like doing that, um, like using those on the ampules. So that is the 25 face and 25 neck. I'm gonna go ahead and take my gloves off for a second. The 15 face and 15 neck, you're going to be getting three of the plastic envelopes. And again, each one of these have five treatments in them. So that means you're gonna be getting three of these ampules and you're gonna be getting three of the syringes. Okay, then we are going to have a five treatment kit that has, you guessed it, one of these ampules, one of the plastic bags that have five treatments in it. You should be getting one of the syringes and then you're going to be getting the trial size of each one of those products that I mentioned. So you're gonna be getting the small size of the Cava Plot, you're gonna be getting the small size of the Promoter Repair Moisturizer, and you're going to be getting um, the Stem Cell Mist, and it's just going to be a nice variety to kind of help you get used to how to do the treatment, how to incorporate those products in there. So those are your options on the kit. Another thing that I wanna mention is when we have on our website the special offers, make sure that you check in on those free gifts that you can get with your purchase. For instance, at the $1,000 special offer category, you actually can pick a five treatment kit. Now you're not gonna get the products that go with it, but you're gonna get an envelope that has five of the masks in it, the paleo masks, and then you're gonna get one of the ampule. And that is a great way to um, pretty much have your $1,000 order paid for, depending on what your price point is on your treatments. So there you have that. Now, she is pretty much crunchy. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to remove the mask and what products you can do afterwards. So this has been on her for at least 30 minutes. You're gonna tell whether it's dry based on kind of how it feels. I don't have my gloves on because I wanna show you how I work in the Cava plot after doing this. This is kind of the sound you wanna be hearing. How does that feel? Does it hurt? Mm -mm. Now, a couple things I wanna say on this part. If they have a lot of vellus hair, it's gonna be a little bit more ouchy. And also when you kinda of get closer to the hairline, it can be a little bit more ouchy as well. I'm gonna have you turn your head a tiny bit because I wanna show them what I do. So I'm gonna take a Q-tip, I'm gonna spray a tiny bit of the mist on it. And if you get to like a little bit where it's a little bit uncomfortable for them, you're just gonna take your Q-tip and as you're pulling the mask, you're just gonna kind of soften that up. That makes it a lot better, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, you can dermaplane before you do this treatment. I have um, got a lot of questions on, well, can you do facial waxing? For a while, we were saying no facial waxing because it was actually pulling the hair out of the follicle and that you needed to be able, is that hurting? You needed to be able to have that hair follicle to use as a wick to pull it down. We have um, fine tuned that. So you can actually, on those rare occasions where you have a client that prefers facial waxing to and you just kind of have to kind of go with it, um, with that, then it doesn't matter. So you can do dermaplane or facial waxing on that. I kind of prefer, even though this is a technique or this is a treatment that we fine tuned the treatment to where you can do it with waxing, I prefer, maybe it's all in my head, to wait maybe a week after do the, the facial waxing to do this, but technically 
you know, whatever you want to do as far as that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just kind of pull it down a little bit. I don't, um, I'm not super fast whenever I remove the mask, but I also don't sit there and just feel like that they're getting, don't want them to feel like they're getting tortured either. So you're just going to kind of grab a piece. Now this is wonderful around the nose area because when you get a really good seal, they feel like all their blackheads are cleaned out and that's really good. This also will help um, brighten the skin as well because it has peptides and all kinds of wonderful stuff in it. So the better the seal, the more challenging it is to get off. And I don't want to um, hurt her, so I'm just kind of taking the Q-tip and working it with the mask. We say 30 minute dry time um, at least. So if you're in a climate where it's a little bit more humid in your room, then you may have to dry it a little bit longer. If you have the Omega Dual that has the fan on it, or if you want them to hold a fan to kind of speed up or you know make sure that it dries really, really good, that's fine too. This is gonna be a little bit Alchie Morgan. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then... This reminds me of snake skin. So whenever I'm doing one-on-one -on -one trainings with you all, I say you're wanting the snake skin sound to it. I'm going to start over here. Now you may see a tiny bit of redness. That's totally normal. You see she's just kind of helping me here and I appreciate the help. It's okay to have a little bit of this white residue and I'm going to kind of show you how you can get rid of that. Okay, so I got it all off. Don't take water and remove that white remnants. Now her face um, feels a little bit on the dry side, which is totally normal. Which is why I set my clients up for success whenever I do this. So I put probably about four pumps of the Cava Plug. Again, this has the caviar, the polyolactic, and the oxygen. See how this bubble nut? This is going to be the serum portion of your home care. So anything that she's using um, as home care after the next three days after this treatment, she could do this and then she could do those actives after that. And then of course after that she would do her promoter repair moisturizer. Now, the stem cell mist is designed to work at any stage of the treatment. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put a little bit of this. I like doing this um, throughout the day because it's just, just really refreshing. If you're spraying it on your client, just make sure that you cover their eyes. They don't wanna have it, um, even though it's not gonna hurt their eyes, they just don't want the um, obnoxious spraying in their in their face. I'm going to come down here and see I just took care of that little white residue on there just by putting a little bit of that in there. How's your face feel? Feels great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the promoter repair cell moisturizer on there. This stuff um, Okay, I'm really, really obsessed with this. I I do probably about that amount. 
that's probably a little bit more than what most people need but I'm here in Colorado where it's a little bit drier and I just felt like this is just a wonderful hydrating this product incidentally um, anything that has repair on our product line is going to go in and do just that. It's gonna go in and repair the skin. This is a great product to do after you do our microneedling radio frequency. Now, those of you that are not familiar with these home care products, this moisturizer um, has a lot of really really spectacular products in it so it's a very very high performance it's going to have snail mucus filtrate in it it's going to have 24 karat gold flex in it it's going to have four different growth factors it's going to have pga which is a plant collagen it's going to have, of course, the polyolactic in it. So this is a very, very, um, there's not any product out there in the market like this um, House of Pla Repair Cell Moisturizer, okay? Now, you can add more if you need it. Um, at this juncture, I'm not going to add any more because I've done the Cava Pla, I've done the Mist, but I am going to be sending her home with some of this for her aftercare that she can use later on this evening. But that is pretty much it, how you can you can do the aftercare with this. Now, um, at this point, I could obviously do the Sculpla cushion cream that has a little bit of tint to it. Um, we may or may not do that. I'm not going to do that on camera because I want to kind of see whether it masks her, mass, matches her skin. Pardon me. And that's pretty much it. I will show you at this juncture how I do the eye cream. So I'm going to put a little bit just under her eye. Then I'm going to take this. Just kind of move it around. Now... The treatment itself, which is um, the filio mask, the paleo mask, um, can be a tiny bit drying for some people. So if you have a client that's already dry, you may want to consider doing the cava pla before you actually start the treatment. So what that would look like, it would be you've done your goat milk pill or you've done another modality on the front end and that can be radio frequency, that can be the Time Master which is our handheld ultrasound, you can do our, um, our new for rolling handheld radio frequency, you can do a lot of different things on the front end and then you could do your two or three pumps of your cab of plug and then go right in to your filio mask and um, then you can finish with that if you have a client that's really, really dry. One thing I do want to mention is if you do the Cava Plug before the actual treatment, the mask may take a little bit longer to dry and it may not be as crunchy when you're removing it. So just be aware of that. How does the eye cream feel? It feels good. So with this, you can kind of get up there in the corner of the eyes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I do it around the lip area. So I get real close to the lip line. And just kind of smooth it in in that way. And there you have it. Now if you have any questions, please reach out to me. My number here at the Colorado Showroom and Training Center is 719-654-3623. Or, of course, you can email me at brenda.aomedusa at gmail.com. Let me know if I can help you in any way. And let's, um, yeah, let's get this perfected to where your clients really, really love this treatment. Have a great day. Thanks.